Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. We have the Five of Cups. Uh oh, somebody's gonna start having some regrets. <laughs> we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody may, ooh, somebody's regretting a decision that they made or some type of um, um, miscommunication or something like like. Somebody may be feeling like they couldn't see something. They had a mental block or like a, a third eye block or something like that. Somebody's going to start re rethinking something here. They made a bad decision. They could have been dishonest with you. There could have been, yeah, like a lack of honesty here between you and someone that caused like some type of disagreement, arguments, destruction of a connection. All right. But somebody's starting to have some regrets here. Three of wands in reverse. Um, okay. What about three of wands in reverse? Oh, okay. I'm dropping the whole deck, guys. Hold on. That makes me feel like a lot's going to happen during Venus, Venus retrograde. And obviously, it's going to be different for all of you. Tell me more about the Three of Wands reverse, the Ace of Swords reverse, and the Five of Cups. The Two of Cups. Mm. Somebody could also be, like, rethinking, like, something was not, like, something was delayed in regards to a relationship. Like, there were, like it was not progressing or... Someone's no longer waiting or something like that. There's been a lot of obstacles and delays. Yeah, the full in reverse, Aquarius energy. For some of you, it could be Aries energy. Um, somebody feels like they, because somebody was like trying, like holding back from you or somebody made a bad decision, had a lack of direction. They also let fears hold them back. Somebody had a fear of starting something new. Somebody was definitely holding back from you. It's like somebody was actually like maybe putting delays, like they were um, intentionally delaying something or keeping something from moving forward, causing setbacks, start, causing obstacles. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I definitely see that somebody is feeling like somebody could also like feeling abandoned here. I don't I just feel like there's this energy of somebody maybe rethinking something. So what does this mean for my collective? What can they or let's get some clarifiers. Tell me about the, why is someone in regret energy? Five of Cups. Because it's like they're seeing something new, seeing something with a new awareness now. Somebody could also be in regret because they feel like you've you've maybe released them or you've surrendered them or vice versa. What does this have to do with my collective? The Eight of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups. Death in reverse. Somebody doesn't want something to be over. What about Scorpio energy? What about death in reverse? See Seven of Cups in reverse. What is the Seven of Cups in reverse? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Oh, you know what? So what does this mean for whoever this is in their energy? Yeah, they, you, I feel like you guys are coming to the conclusion that somebody will maybe never change. Like something is never going to move forward. Somebody does not know what they want. Like. I feel like you guys were like holding on to something like you were you didn't want something to be over. You were like keep and it was keeping you stuck. It was keeping you stuck. And you were you. This was keeping you up in your head for quite some time. Right. But I feel like you guys have like you're getting this new awareness as well. That something is a blockage for you. Something is an obstacle for you. This connection, this two of cups, whatever this is. Trying to trying to make a relationship work with this person or something like that. It's never gonna. It's not stabilizing or it's not going to lead to that. And I feel like maybe you guys were stuck in some type of stability. I mean, stability. Stuck in some type of illusion that, um, or like you were trying to. You, there was you were like wishfully thinking that this would turn into something stable, but I don't know. I feel like you guys are realizing that this person is just like stuck. They're stuck, and they've been keeping you stuck. And um, for some of you. This person's getting in the midst of getting some karma, like bad karma. And um, it's just, yeah, they got to go through that. But yeah, I feel like this person is a control freak and that you're dealing with. And they're, they maybe are even still in a relationship with a karmic. Either whatever the situation is, they're being resistant to change and they're resisting this connection. So I feel like you guys have, are making the decision to free yourself from this, although it's maybe hard. Like maybe this is very disappointing to you. All right, so tell me the Ace of Swords in reverse. The tower. See, someone's having like a realization here. Huh. So is it that you finally make the decision to leave somebody alone? You finally come to terms with the fact that they're just maybe not who you want them to be or they can't, they, they may never change. And then now somebody's rethinking something. Scorpio energy here again. What is the tower? What's the tower? Five of Pentacles in reverse. 
or you guys are like recovering from a taller moment. What does this mean for my collective? The five of swords. Yeah, some type of conf. What does this have to do with? What does this have to do with the person they're dealing with? The tower, the five of swords, the five of pentacles in reverse, the moon in reverse. Yeah, it's like understanding of what? What are they seeing? The star? What does it mean for this connection? It's Aquarius energy. Hmm. Guys, it's almost like right when you guys give up on this, they want to come, they want to like, they want to release their fears and expose some type of truth here. You know what's also happening is that somebody's emotions are coming to the surface. If this, yeah, this person, mm, tell me about the three of wands in reverse. You also have Sagittarius and Pisces energy here. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So someone's like issues with codependency or giving too much to a, a imbalanced situation or someone, there, yeah, somebody's insecurities or something like that was keeping maybe what was what's this mean for my collective is this them that was in this energy the queen of cups in reverse yeah you guys had some type of self-limiting beliefs that was making you like was was the reason why you were holding on to this situation tell me about this connection spirit or like a lack of self-love you were waiting on this person but i don't think you, what is the current energy or what's going to be happening in venus retrograde yeah, you guys are kind of like getting really burnt out with you're like starting to recover from this now. Like some of you guys are getting back out there and maybe wanting to start dating again. Tell me more. The page I feel like you are focused on something new. Yeah, what about the page of pentacles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The see King of Swords, though. What about the King of Swords? The High Priestess. What's this mean for my collective? Mmm. Mmm. Hold on. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Cups. The Five of Pentacles in reverse again. Why does somebody think that somebody has hope for this? Or you guys are recovering from a relationship, but it kind of feels like somebody feels like they want to. Somebody has like hope for this still. Why? Tell me about the Two of Cups and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. See? I told you. The Ace of Pentacles. New opportunity. Is this a new person? What is this? Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. The star again. What does that mean for this, this connection that they were, they are freeing themselves from? Is this this connection? Is this the connection that they're freeing themselves from? Mm. Mm. Guys, somebody wants to page of swords. Tell me about this. The hermit, Virgo energy, the Empress, Taurus energy. Yeah, moving on. Monster make peace, two of wands. Mm, I don't guys what I feel like is maybe happening here is that somebody wants to maybe take you off the market But you guys are skeptical about this person Like all of a sudden somebody like has hope for this connection or something like that. They want to like come in and give you something solid But I, I don't with the nine of Pentacles in reverse. I don't see you guys being single For much or somebody Hmm, I feel like you're gonna have to take some time to think about something here. What is this person's intentions towards uh, my collective? What is this person's intentions towards my collective spirit? See the six, so is somebody trying to move? What about six of swords? Hmm, what's this mean for the connection? Hmm, queen of pentacles in reverse. They may be trying to move away from investing in somebody else. What does this mean for my collective? Yeah, the Six of Wands. It's like this person wants some type of victory with you. But this person is going to maybe have to move away from somebody that they're investing in. Or that it's like they're trying to leave. They're walking away. They're leaving something behind here. They're learning some type of lesson. They're leaving something behind. I do feel like they want to make peace. 
All right. But there's somebody that they're giving something to a selfish person, a materialistic person, possibly even a gold digger. Yeah. Or they're having some type of issues with their like, maybe once their financial situation starts getting better, then they'll want to like try to recover this. Something to do with money going on here. Okay. So let's get more clarity. Hmm. What do I want to see? What's going on between these two people's spirit? What's going on in this connection? Hold up. Grieving. Yeah, someone's grieving you. It's like somebody's sulking over you or grieving you, but they're not doing anything to make fix anything. It's like they can't see right now. Maybe they they've so somebody's like been grieving you, but they haven't been really doing taking any action to try to fix it. It's like somebody does not want something to be over with you, but they also aren't, haven't been doing anything because they maybe haven't seen how they could fix this or how they could recover this. It says they're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. If they want something to change between the two of you, they're going to have to take action to make changes. Twin flame. Okay, here we go. You don't have to be, you don't have to be or do anything for them to, to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. Ooh, okay. The rival. See, there's somebody else. They chose someone else over you. And though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. Yeah. Is somebody here that is like using them for money or like, what was that? The, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse came out. That wasn't, why did they feel like they had to choose that person though? I feel like it was the right thing to do. Huh. So yeah, there's a third party here, guys. But I feel like they're going to walk away from that person. Ooh, family tree. It could be a, somebody, a family member. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. So maybe they chose their family over you or they chose somebody over you based off of like their values, beliefs, and their traditions. Cultural differences. We have foolish on the back of the deck. They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embar embarrassed to come forward. That's why they're, they're just grieving you. So it's a little bit of ego too, guys. Like they know that they messed up with you, but, and they're grieving you, but they're, they're stuck because of their ego. They, they feel too embarrassed to come towards you. Hmm. Let's do a few. Let's do two more of these. Now that I know this is possibly a twin flame connection, that's kind of guiding how I'm going to proceed with this. Yeah, justice. They're trying to see what is this about them feeling like they need to do the right thing. So what if they chose someone over you is because they thought like that was like the morally correct thing to do, or they thought that that was the, the right thing to do for whatever reason. Okay. So it says they're trying to do the right thing, but by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. So they feel like this person feel with justice coming out here. They feel like they need to make things right with you, but like they know that they haven't done right by you. They do. I'm telling you, they're coming in with that Ace of Pentacles, but they know that they're going to have to move away from this rival energy to be with you, okay? And they feel like that that's the right thing to do. They, It's like, you know what's happening here? Is that this person's view about what the right thing to do is changing. They thought that at the time that that was the right thing for them, but that's changing, possibly because of whatever this tower was. Can you guys give me any clarity on why this person's perspective is changing and why they feel like it's the right thing to do? Oh, divine truth. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are. What did I just say, guys? We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring to light all that has been hidden. 
So they thought that at some point they didn't maybe see the truth. They didn't have the truth about something. And that's why they thought it was correct to choose that other person over you. But they're about to get some type of clarity or some type of truth is about to be revealed, which may actually be pretty difficult with the tower to, to, to come to terms with. That's going to make them realize that they made the wrong choice, that they should have chose you. The, the right thing to do would have been choosing you. So can you give me any clarity, Spirit, on what this divine truth is? What we have missing you. They feel life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. So, I mean, partially it could be that they just feel such a void without you in their life. How could I have made the right decision by leaving the collective behind if I feel so... I feel there's such a void without them. It just, nothing feels right without them in my life. So did I make the right choice? So it's like, maybe they're rethinking it because, you know, they made this choice and they feel like crap because you're not in their life. You know what I mean? But yeah, anxiously waiting. They search for you and everything. Wow. That's why guys, it's like this person can't get away from your energy. Although I want to get more clarity on what the tower is, but it says they search for you and everything. They feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. Hmm. All right, one more card. What was the tower, Spirit? What is this tower moment? This awakening. Exposing the... Okay, so we... Ooh. Okay. The witch. Oh, my gosh. They have somebody around. So whatever the tower moment has, it has to do with somebody that they thought was like a, had good intentions. But they're finding out... What, what is, how does this directly relate to this person and their energy? How does this directly, this dark side and the mask relate to this person? Permanent mark. You left a permanent mark on their heart. They can't be, that can't be erased. Even if they tried, you will always be remembered. Hmm. Fairy tale. They think this kind of love only happens in a fairy tale stories because of them. You are too perfect to believe it's true. They feel like you're too good to be true. They don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. They don't want you to give up on this. You guys are both guarded, though. You guys both have your guards up. You guys both have issues with vulnerability. That's been an issue as well. But there's something here about, like, they could be finding out that somebody, like, somebody's taking the mask off here. This is the tower. I don't know if this is going to be a tower moment for you, this person coming in. But it says dark side. They have a dark side that no one knows. And feel it's their true, their and feel it's their true side, but too afraid to show you the mask. But this is not the truth. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. What? Tell me about this dark side crap. Unfounded fear. See, there's something here about an illusion. Okay, maybe this person is afraid. Stuck in a loop. Yeah, I didn't, I, you guys are stuck. A pattern has become similar to them, and they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating. They, they don't want to keep living their life like this. They are afraid to trust. See, this person is afraid. So somebody that they were with, it could be this person that they are still giving to. It could be one of two situations. This person that they are still investing in, they're going to reveal their true self to them, and they're going to realize that that person wasn't who they thought they were. Or... They're stuck in a situation with somebody who they at first thought was a good person. And then they revealed another side of themselves to your person. And now they have a hard time trusting anybody because they maybe thought at some point that this was their person, that they loved them, that was their soulmate, whatever. And then this person showed them that they were like a completely opposite person. They had a dark side, right? So now this person has this fear of getting hurt, afraid to trust. It says the illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety unable to act upon their love so they have love for you but they also have this fear that you're going to reveal like you're not who you who they you're not who they think you are like yes you're presenting yourself as a really good person but they think maybe like that will change or hmm let's do one more of these foolish well that already came out they feel stupid it's like they 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 didn't trust. They had no reason not to trust you, but they acted like you did something that to betray them. They had no reason not to trust you, but they acted like they didn't like they didn't trust you. All right, I hope that that makes sense what I'm saying. So, building an empire that you guys could have had something. Yeah, the journey. They see how their focus on material things has made them happy, and only holding them back from love. Oh, so this is somebody that was maybe staying in a situation. 
due to financial reasons or they've been so focused on materialistic things, money, status, image or something like that, that that's not leading them to any fulfillment or any happiness. Yeah, so it, and it's keeping them from love. And it says the journey, this journey, this love journey may be long and challenging, but so, but so long as you, but as so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. Regret they have a, they're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. Yeah, this person knows they did you wrong. This person has is really guarded, y'all. Spirit just wants you to know that your prayers have been heard, okay? Now is the time your prayer, prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. I'm telling you, you're going to get justice. They're going through a huge tower moment where it's what's going to open his, their eyes to everything. I'm telling you, that's what's going to be happening possibly during Venus retrograde is that they're going to be having this tower moment that makes them open their eyes, gives them clarity, gives them a new perspective about everything and every, the way they see you, the way that they see other people in their life, this third party, whoever this is. Dark Knight, they're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. Mm -hmm. And it's like once they do have this, once they go through the dark night of the soul, you'll be hearing from this person. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. So this person also knows that if they're going to come back towards you, that they're going to have to treat you differently than they did before. Okay, like they can't come back towards you. Um you know, the way that they did before. They're going to have to come correct. So this person's well aware of that. All right. Yeah, they definitely have another person. I'm trying to think, what do I want to take a look at? What is going on? Like, let's get a few more. Or let's see, what is this third party situation? Exhausted. So you could have been dealing with somebody that was living a double life, or they're re reaching their breaking point, they're tired. Too much drama on both sides, tired of living a double life, breaking point. I just heard that this person feels like they have to make, choose between whatever that third party or that what's interfering between the two of you or, or you. That they have, they feel like they have to make a decision. But I feel like whatever they've been choosing over you hasn't even been making them happy. But it's like they maybe feel like they, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it, it's not fulfilling. It doesn't matter if it's drama. It doesn't matter if it's chaos. Like, especially if it's their family. They can just be like, it's, so it's, it's family, so I just have to deal with it. Or for some, I don't know who this third party is. We're going to be seeing. Who is this rival? What's up with this rival? Somebody that's manipulative. A charming Casanova tells you what you want to hear. Talks their way out of trouble. Tell me more. They It says you are their number one. Or maybe they, tell me about the, yeah, tell me more. They're going to, yeah, you, they're about to choose you, okay? But why is, they're hoping that they can get their way out of trouble here. Why is Smooth Talker here? Hard to get. Because they know that you're not going to let them back in easily. Yeah, they know that you're no longer settling for less. You're playing hard to get. Like you're maybe before, like you you were, you know, easier. Like you, how do I say that? Like it was easier for them to get back into your life or to whatever. But I feel like you're in this energy of playing hard, or as they view it, hard to get. Yeah, because you're sick of this person sending mixed signals. You're sick of the on and off relationship. You're sick of this person not knowing what they want. Yeah, and I feel like you guys are like, no, and it's like something here about you guys too late. Mm -hmm. You feel like you need to protect yourself. Feels it's too late to fix things. Feels pressure to make. I'm telling you, they feel like they have to make a decision, but they've taken a really long time to make this decision. Something to do with career and find. I feel like this person tries to sleep. They used to try to like prey on your weaknesses or something like that. Sleep with you, seduce you. They would play on your, your emotion, your emotions or your weak spots. But yeah, something to do with, um, they've been, they've been very focused on career and finances. Work affecting love life, trying to improve their finances, focused on work, and it says waiting. They, yeah. Waiting for their phone return call, waiting for them to love you back, trying to be hopeful that one day that they will want to take things to the next level with you. But this person was like, and they would do this. Like, I feel like this person was trying to make, like, string you along almost until they were ready to settle down with you. But they weren't telling you the full truth about some things. They would act like a victim. They would try to make you feel sorry for them. They do keep tabs on you. 
So I feel like you guys are in this energy of enacting boundaries, but something's going to end up happening here where this person chooses you, okay? I see them choosing you. They're going to want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They're going to want to find, try to work this out, be more vulnerable with you. Or there's, I see a, maybe a, a instant, like a situation where you, or a conversation where you guys are both vulnerable with each other. But it says you are their number one, dominating the situation your person is choosing you. All right, so give me a few more cards about what's leading to this person choosing my collective. So that's what's happening. I feel like um, during this Venus retrograde, they're going to be like, I feel like you're going to be kind of just like in this energy of maybe self-love. All right. Focusing on you. And it's like your person is going to be going through like a big transformation. Um, or like they're going to be going through like almost like a tower during this Venus retrograde where they, they realize a lot of things. Okay. And it's going to lead them um, to choosing you. They could even be making the decision to walk away from something by the end of Venus, re Venus retrograde, okay? So, tell me more. They're, they're, choosing, they're choosing my collective. They're choosing my collective. Tell me about that. The Knight's Tale. Chivalry. Yeah, the offer, an offer of love. I'm telling you, old-fashioned values. They're going to have some, they're going to want to have something traditional with you. All right, commitment, marriage. That's what they're thinking about. Yeah, they're coming in with an offer of love here. Mm, the grasp of greed. See, there's something here about possessive materialism. What about that? Perfect match, though. Yeah, great chemistry. Highly compatible. Quick connection. So you guys maybe feel like things kind of like move fast with you and this person. Or you, there was an instant connection with you and this person. But why is the grasp of, what's this materialism? Possessiveness. Selfishness. Yeah. Rocking horse. Indecision. So this person's been, wow. This person... Wow. Ghosted. This person could have even ghosted you. Or they feel rejected by you. Wow. You guys maybe ghosted this person. Or either they ghosted you or you ghosted them. But Spirit is saying that this was a soul gift. A it was part of the divine plan. It says, and it says aligned with the universe. Yeah, because you and this person were on the same page at the time. Tell me about what does ghosted mean for my collective? What does ghosted mean for my collective? Before I get into those other cards, ghosted means for my collective. The Empress, I'm telling you, you know your worth. You guys cut things off with this quick. I'm telling you. Yeah, and you're in this highly desirable energy. Re you're reclaiming your power. Like you just were like, I'm done. I'm cutting this off. I know my worth. I deserve better. Why? Did Give me one more card about why. Yeah, now somebody's going to have to take control of a situation. It's taking action, forward movement, willingness to do the work, taking control of a situation. Somebody puts you on a pedestal. Great admiration, idealizing and denying flaws. Mm. So is there somebody in this person's life too that they've like been like trying to just see the good in, but they are actually a very flawed person? Feeling like they're out of your league. Somebody feels like you're out of their league. Healing heart, but it's like as someone heals their heart or he has like heals. Somebody needs to heal. That's why things have been moving very slow between you and this person. But uh, what was I about to look at? What does ghost it mean for my collective? What does ghost it mean for my collective? A loyal companion, loyal and devoted protection. I feel like you guys did this because you needed to protect yourselves. Yeah. You felt like there was things being hidden from you. Yeah, there's information yet to be revealed. But it doesn't look like it's maybe bad. What's, what's yet to be revealed when it comes to this situation? Yeah, someone's going to give you uh, a favorable outcome. What's yet to be revealed? Negative emotions, anger and resist, resentment, frustration, annoyance. Ooh, so what's being revealed? Solar eclipse. Un there's going to be some type of unexpected changes here. A powerful change of heart. I'm telling you, somebody's rethinking something here, guys. Cosmic intervention, and it could be doing be done. The tower is divine intervention. All right. The T gossip talking about you having a reputation. Yeah. What is, can, give me more clarity on what this tower is. What is the tower? It's a it's a victory, guys. It's a it's somebody having an awakening that's going to lead to some type of victory. What's the tower? Planetary vibes. I'm telling you, it has something to do with Venus retrograde. Connection with the cosmos, planetary influences. I'm telling you, celestial realms leading to what? 
pretty bride. A commitment. They choose you. I'm telling you guys, this is crazy. Somebody's about to choose you. Commitment, wedding, marriage, they choose you. And they're going to make a sacrifice to be with you. A difficult decision, aligning priorities, they must give up something to win. If they want you, they're going to have to give up something. I feel like you guys have been very lo loyal and devoted to this person. Or they've been trying to be very loyal and devoted to somebody else. Um, or like, it's like you guys had to protect yourself because you know you have unconditional love for this person. Um, you know, you had to guard your heart. But I'm telling you, this person has been trying to had to make a decision between materialism, possess. It's not, I don't think it's possessiveness. It's selfishness, materialism, and greed versus somebody that is actually their perfect match. Somebody that they have great chemistry with that they're highly compatible with, that they feel this intense connection with. That's what the indecision has been between these two avenues. All right, so we're gonna